Hi, this is Dr. Frank Laws with Quick Takes. This happens to be a video blog about atrial fibrillation and everything related to atrial fibrillation. When one has atrial fibrillation that persists for greater than seven days, it's referred to as persistent atrial fibrillation. When you have atrial fibrillation that persists for greater than 12 months, it's referred to as long-standing persistent atrial fibrillation. In addition to these types of patients, we have those patients who are on antiarrhythmic agents and in these patients, the atrial fibrillation continues. Over a period of time, these patients are referred to as having drug-resistant atrial fibrillation. So when one has long-standing persistent atrial fibrillation and drug-resistant atrial fibrillation, sometimes the success rate of the pulmonary in isolation procedure decreases. Hence, these uh, patients are usually considered to be candidates for epicardial ablation of the posterior or left atrial cavity. This usually involves the surgeon getting access via subsequent approach or percutaneous transthoracic approach to get to the posterior wall of the left atrial cavity. When the posterior wall of the left atrial cavity is ablated, along with pulmonary vein isolation, this enhances the entire ablation procedure and improves the outcome of these patients over time.